What's up YouTube? Back here with another video today. In today's video we've got some huge news for the Lightning. Basically the whole direction of this build is about to be drastically changed because of an opportunity that's arose. And I'll basically go over that. And then also we got a buddy of mine coming over and he has a B13 Nissan Sentra with an SR20 swap, big turbo, all kinds of cool stuff. It's a really neat car. I think it's around 400 horsepower to the wheels and it is just a fun little car. And we're going to basically be doing something with that and then basically introducing the car you might see him in some more videos and stuff like that so kind of like an addition to the channel so to say i guess um but yeah so uh also i'm going to get into where i've been lately i know i haven't really uploaded consistently i kind of stopped for i think i'm on week number three now and i'm basically going to get into that and where i've been and all that stuff so let's go ahead and dive in all right, so I guess I'll start with the lightning news since that's what most of you guys are here for and most of you guys watch for the lightning content. Basically, the whole direction of this build is about to be drastically changed because those of you that may or may not know, the channel is sponsored by JC Customs. And basically, JC Customs makes all kinds of billet parts for our trucks, Gen 2 door handles, adapter plates, intercooler tanks with billet lids, EGR deletes, all kinds of stuff. If you guys haven't checked them out already, you guys need to go check them out. Link is in the description and make sure you use my code DEBTLIFE for 10% off the entire order. So get yourself 10% off, get yourself some billet for your truck. And that's going to bring me to my next point. Basically, when you order from him and use my code, it gets me a perk. Basically, he set a goal that I have to reach a certain amount of sales. And once I hit them a certain amount of sales, he hooked me up with some billet and basically we're really close super close to our goal and what i'm going to get is going to change the entire direction of the build i don't really want to really reveal it yet but i'm sure some of you guys can guess what i'm getting at basically it's going to allow us to make a lot more power we're going to be able to just the entire truck is going to be woke up and changed with this part and we're really close guys so make sure you go in the description check check out jc customs save 10 percent by using my code debt life upon checkout and you're going to help us reach that goal and you're also going to help the build you're going to help the channel and you're going to see some drastic improvement in this truck so help us hit that goal guys go check them out use the code you're going to get yourself some billet in the process he makes really really cool stuff guys I mean, all kinds of stuff for our truck. Even if it's something small, like a billet oil cap with your custom engraving on it. He does custom engraving. He can anodize it any color you want, pretty much. Um, even if it's something small, that really helps out. Because he set a target number of sales, and we are super close, guys. I mean, really close. So, go help me out. Go buy something big or small for your truck. It's going to be your benefit anyways, because, I mean, he makes really cool stuff. So, but... So the whole direction of this truck is about to change, and I cannot wait, guys. I'm super freaking stoked. So anyways, big changes coming for the Lightning. If you want to go ahead and drop a guess as to what I'm going to do, put it in the comments below. I'll tell you hot or cold, but I'm probably not going to tell you if you're right because I want it to be a little bit of a surprise. I think a lot of you guys are going to be shocked. Some of you guys might already know, but big, big plans coming, guys. I cannot wait. All right, so let's dive into the next thing, and that's where I've been. Basically, in all honesty, guys, I really haven't felt like uploading. I don't know why. I don't really have any particular reason. I mean, work has been pretty stressful lately. We're really picking back up, and I mean, that's a good thing. But by the time I come home, I'm just tired and just don't really feel like sitting in front of a camera. And on top of that, I mean, I've been going through a little bit of depression lately and just... I don't know, just really busy in my personal life, honestly, and just haven't really been in the mood for videos. But, I mean, that's going to change. I'm going to go ahead and push through it and get back to uploading because I know it's not fair to you guys. And I need to be putting these videos out. And then another thing I've been doing that's been taking some time is I've been putting some time and some work into my saltwater tank. Now, I did a poll on Instagram asking if this is content you guys would like to see in between lightning videos. And it was pretty mixed, so I'm not going to upload a whole lot of saltwater tank content on the channel. I'll probably make a whole separate channel for all my fish tank stuff. And then I will put that in the description. 
and also put it in another video once all that stuff is ready to go. Um, I do want to make some videos though because I have been investing a lot of time into this tank lately and just getting it back up to par. We've had it for a while and we kind of just let it go and stop paying any kind of attention to it and is basically just sitting here with two clownfish in it doing nothing. So I figured if we're going to have it sitting here, we need to get this thing back up to par and have it nice and put some effort into it. So that's what we've been doing lately. And uh, like I said, I'll start a whole new channel for that kind of stuff. And those of you that are interested can go follow that. And I'll put that in a future video when it's all up. But I've been putting some time into the saltwater tank and it's coming out really, really nice. We basically got two clownfish. We have a lawnmower blenny in here somewhere. I don't know where he's at. He likes to hide. But we also just picked up this beautiful rose bubble tip anemone. And it's really cool looking. It's finally starting to open up. At first it was kind of shriveled and hiding, but I think it's getting more comfortable. We uh, upgraded all new lights. We got some T5 lighting with some LEDs as well. We got a hang on the back overflow that goes down to our sump underneath. Basically a whole nother tank with all kinds of baffles for filtration that the water has to pass through and then go back up into the tank. But yeah, like I said, I'll go into more detail on that on my channel that I start for this kind of stuff. But that has been soaking up a lot of time as well. I'm just trying to get it right. I mean, if it's going to be sitting out here in the main room, I want it to look nice. Um, got this tank over here. It's got, it used to have a bunch of cichlids. Only one guy has left. And I honestly haven't been doing anything with that either. I think I'm going to go ahead and break that down and just get rid of it and sell it. I do not have enough time for all these freaking projects and hobbies that I got. I think I'm just going to put all my time into one saltwater tank, make one look really nice. I do not have time for two tanks, all the project cards we got and everything else. So this will be going and we're going to put a lot of time into the saltwater tank. I really like it and I think it's coming out nice so far. Um, yeah, so I'm going to make a channel for that. So stay on the lookout and I'll post that in another video later. It's for So those of you that want to follow can go do that. But anyways. And while we're right here and in this room, I can go ahead and just show off some of my lightning and SVT collectibles I've been picking up. Got this pretty cool book that goes over all the different SVT vehicles or whatever. I've been picking up all these little things at Walmart with lightnings in them. Of course, I got a bunch of these. This seems to be popular. Got one of the big ones there. This is pretty cool. A little drag racing tree we got from Summit Racing that does all kinds of stuff. little burnouts and the staging lights come up and all that stuff it's pretty cool it's a little alarm clock that we picked up not necessarily lightning related but it does go with the whole racing theme so i think it's cool good little coffee cup controllers and stuff for the fish tank man a little fast and furious hot wheels and of course we got some eclipse stuff in there for the eclipse that we got sitting out front just picking up little odds and ends here and there but Definitely need to get some more. Definitely put to shame by a lot of other people's collections, but it's getting there. And it's pretty cool sitting out here in the main room so everyone can see. Uh, I lucked out with a pretty cool wife that pretty much lets me do whatever I want with the house, doesn't complain. So, of course, we got my truck stuff there. But, anyways, yep. All right, so while we're waiting for my buddy to get here with the Sentra, we're going to do a quick oil change on the Lightning. It really needs it. We never did do it before our trip and I think we got like 2,000 and some change miles on the oil and I want to change it. I'm being a little ridiculous as far as oil changes go on the new motor for now since it has such low mileage. I, mean, I think we're barely at like 4,000 miles on the motor so I want to change it constantly and repetitively for the first probably 10,000 miles. I mean yeah it's kind of stupid maybe a waste of money in some opinion but I want to keep the motor nice so. We're going to be a little ridiculous with oil changes and change it probably more often than you need to, but it's not a real big deal. Oil is cheap enough and it's good insurance. So we'll keep the motor nice and clean and change the oil. And then we're also going to pull it out and give it a bath because it is just bad. We drove through four hours of rain on the way home on our South Carolina trip. And you can just see, I mean, the exhaust is nasty. Rain just kicked up and made the truck look like shit. So we're going to be doing that. Just giving it a little bit of attention and a little bit of a bath because like i said we haven't done anything with it since our trip and it is just dirty look at all the freaking bugs we got and heat exchanger there and 
I tried to get most of it off the bumper so it wasn't sitting in the paint, but it still is dirty and we need to give it some love. So we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna do the oil, give it some love, give it a little bit of a bath. And then my buddy should be here with the Sentra and we're gonna work on that and do a little bit of content with that. So we'll see you when he shows up. All right, so the oil's all changed. The truck's nice and clean. As you can see, it looks much better. Exhaust tips are nice and shiny now. Wheels look pretty good. Just did a quick wash on it, nothing crazy, but quick wash really made a big difference. We also washed up the Weiss daily a little bit, shined the tires and got it nice and clean. Gave it some love in the engine bay and wiped everything down, changed all her fluids. So pretty much just a little maintenance on our fleet here. We got the daily and the race truck all nice and clean and taken care of. And then we got the work truck sitting out there and that's just, just a work truck. So I don't think I've ever washed it since I've had it, but um, yeah, plans kind of fell through today as far as my buddy coming over about halfway through doing all our stuff we were doing. Got a text from him saying that he just wasn't in the mood for it anymore and I guess had too many drinks last night and whatnot. So he wasn't going to make it today, which is fine. It's all good. So we are going to go ahead and end the video here since that's not going to happen and we'll save that for another video. But thanks for watching guys. Once again, go check out JC Customs, link in the description and use code DEBTLIFE to help support the channel and get us towards our goal. Maybe we can make the changes we're going to make to the Lightning and get going on that. And we got a lot more coming for you guys, of course. So stay tuned. Make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more. We'll see you all later.